Hello, viewers. I'm Eva. Welcome to my Japan Foodie Series Part Four. In this episode, we will travel to Osaka, visit the Osaka Castle, spend one day in Nara, feed the famous bull deers, plus more delicious food. Sounds fun? Please keep watching. The bullet train Shinkansen is a very efficient and practical public transportation to connect major cities in Japan. It's spacious, clean, and punctual. Sorry, Deutsche Bahn. If you take the Shinkansen for the first time, why don't you get the Eki Bando on board the train? You can either buy the bando box from the shops inside the train station or on the platform. We bought two top-rated bando boxes. First, let's appreciate the packaging. You can argue it's not that environmental friendly, but it's so thoughtful. You don't have to worry about spilled sauce or eating without cutlery. So in the first bando box, we have grilled eels with Japanese egg rolls and some pickles. Sauce and the spice were packed separately. The rice was a bit soft, the eel was not too fatty, and the egg rolls were more Tokyo style, which is slightly sweet. The second bento box was ranked in the top five according to the bento shop. There was one piece of decent-sized grilled salmon covered with salmon roll, some marinated minced salmon and the pickles. This combination was great. The salmon was tender, the salmon roll was tasty. You may only complain about the portion size. Now we have arrived in Osaka, the third biggest city in Japan after Tokyo and Yokohama. There is a historic shrine just across the street to our hotel. It's a peaceful place. Unfortunately, today in Osaka it is raining. We had to get an umbrella in the 7-Eleven convenience store. The quality really surprised me. It's sturdy and the water just doesn't stay on the surface at all. If you have enough luggage and look for a quality umbrella, do get one here. The agenda today is to visit Osaka Castle. This castle is located in the center of Osaka, looking over the city. The magnificent castle is one of the three prominent castles in Japan. It also played a vital role in Japanese history in the 16th century. The exhibition inside the building tells the story about it. If you are interested, in the Japanese history, you can spend hours here. Some areas are prohibited for photography, so plan your trip and discover yourself. The surrounding park area is free to the public. Today's dinner, dun dun dun, yakiniku. The restaurant I discovered was called Itamae Yakiniku Ito. There are three branches in Osaka. We booked the main branch. The restaurant uses certified Osaka Wagyu beef which has a very high reputation as Kobe Wagyu beef. They have both Chinese and English menu to explain different cuts. One challenge is, there are so many to choose from. And as rich as Wagyu beef, you won't be able to eat too much. Finally, we decided on one portion of halami, the outside skirt, one portion of kalubi, beef belly, one portion of ichibo, h bone, beef thigh close to the bottom, one portion of zabutong, chuck flap, and one portion of the best roots. I don't like the halami. 
It has a strong taste, but I do love the rest, especially the best rolls. They just melt in your mouth. Two plates of meat don't look that a lot, but I was really full. Better take a walk before heading to bed. Osaka at night was a vivid metropolis. You notice the obvious difference between Tokyo and this city simply by the neon lighting outside the restaurants. Look at those huge 3D signs. It is hard to connect them with Japanese subtle and humble culture, isn't it? Today is a lovely sunny day. We plan a day trip to Nara, the city famous for bow deers. On our way to the Nara Park, I wanted to have lunch at a popular restaurant, but we cancelled the plan after seeing the queue outside. So instead, we had a snack picnic with Kakinoha sushi, water chestnuts, salted matcha ice cream, and the sweet potatoes. The water chestnuts were easy to peel and sweet. We got them from a small store on the street. The Kakino Ha Sushi is a Nala's original food. Sushi rice is topped with salmon or mackerel, wrapped with a leaf of persimmon. I like mackerel better than salmon. The ice cream was from a cafe. The salt really brings out the flavor and it's just a perfect ice cream. The baked sweet potato was sold by an old couple. They can even speak some basic English. It's time to feed deers. They are cute, but sometimes can also be aggressive. So when you feed them, be aware that some might bite you. Better keep distance and make sure you are not surrounded by a group. Now let me show you the correct way to enjoy the experience. You find a deer, keep your distance. When the deer bows, you give it the deer biscuits. Other food is not allowed. When you finish, bow back to thank it for the experience. Then you run. Passing the park, you will reach the Kasuga Taisha Shrine. Deers are wandering around here as well. Most times, they are peaceful, but we also witness how they compete to get the food. The Kasuga Taisha Shrine is gorgeous. It has over 3,000 lanterns. Most stone lanterns are covered with moss. They are part of history.
Before heading back to Osaka, we tried more food here: creamy pudding, dango, tea-flavored shaved ice, and gyoza. Well, I kind of forgot that I booked an all-you-can-eat dinner, but I would say I was disappointed by the dinner. At that price, the quality is not that great. I would rather pay a little bit more to eat in an a la carte restaurant. So this is the fourth episode of this series. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we will visit the Universal Studio, experience the Super Mario World. Thank you for watching. See you until the next episode.